Welcome, in front of me I have the Sony Xperia 10 Mark V and today I'll show you how we can bypass the Google verification on this device. So you can see on my device uh, it's freshly reset and it's right now prompting me to verify my previously set pattern or I could also use a Google account if I don't know the pattern to unlock the device and finish up the setup. Now, assuming I don't know either of those, I'm just going to bypass this. Now, that being said, we will need one thing, or technically two. One would be internet connection, and the second one would be a functioning SIM card. I'll be using this one, though we'll see if it actually functions or not uh, in a second. So, with that being said, um, when you go, or when you have your device, uh, you want to connect to your Wi-Fi network. As you can see, I have already done so. And from there, you're gonna back out to the first page. Now we do need to insert our SIM card. This is two less tray, but my fingernails ain't strong enough to pop that out. I'm just gonna pry it out. I'm gonna place our SIM on the tray and then insert it into our phone. There is no SIM card in here or in pin set on the SIM card, so it won't pop up with anything. I'm looking for some reception, if it's gonna pop in or not. If in the next 10 seconds it won't show up with any kind of reception, I'm just gonna progress anyway and see if it works like that. Okay, anyway, I just get going with it. So as you've seen, you wanna tap on the emergency and here you're gonna write either 911, which uh, I think I prefer the secondary number, which is 112, considering 911 is a, well, it's a no-go for calling and if your card works, I would assume it would make a call. We'll see in a second what, what will happen. So I'm gonna now select to call gonna hang up uh, as you seen there was this pop-up right there that it's looking for my location let's try it again there we go so it shows up right here gonna click on the map it's ended the call too and let's give it a moment you can see it found my location so right here uh, we're gonna be looking for apparently um, what is it any kind of restaurant okay I know that there's one right somewhere here right there we go good enough so just find any kind of restaurant in an area um, And here we're gonna select call. It brings up a dialer. I'm gonna delete the shown number. So again, I'm using the 112 number right here. And this gives me a couple options now, right over here. So we're gonna select send a message now like this and then in the message we're gonna type in youtube.com or well starting off with the www extension youtube whoops i misspelled it there we go now the reason we want to add this uh, www extension is because without it uh, the phone will open up YouTube in a pop-up view, which is not what we want. Uh, this will kind of brick the entire process and therefore if you did already send it this way, you basically need to factory reset your device and start over from the very beginning. Uh, with it, when we do this, when we send the message, gonna select tap to load preview, it will show us the YouTube image and when you click on it, it will open up YouTube in its full uh, fledged 
application instead of this kind of pop-up view that you would get when typing just youtube.com. So from here, we're gonna now select uh, the account icon. And go into settings, about, and then Google privacy policy. Give it a second. Use without an account. No thanks. And here we're gonna navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass. So just type it in. So if you need a moment to write this link yourself, do pause the video. Now, moving on. Once you're on the website, it will give you this pop-up right here. So I'm just going to select consent. It's not like we have any other options right here. Yes, I'm salty about that, if you're wondering. And from here, we're just going to select at the bottom the screen lock option. It's the last one right here. So set screen lock mini option. We're going to click on this. Now, as you've seen, I was using a pattern before as a way of unlocking the device. So just to spice it up, I'm going to use a pin. Uh, now, if you don't remember what I had as a locking method at the beginning, you can just literally backtrack to the beginning of the video and see it from there. But anyway, I'm going to select a pin from here just so you can, just so there's no doubt that I just kind of used the same pattern that was a way of unlocking the device. So. Uh, there was a pattern, now it's going to be pin. And the pin that I'm going to be selecting is just going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. A very simple one. Uh, and the reason for that is I would need to probably insert it 20 times. So we'll see. Select next, repeat it. Now I do recommend selecting the same thing. So pattern in your case as well. And selling it, selecting it to be 1, 2, 3, 4 as well. This will make the process a little bit easier. When I'm inserting my pin, I can just pop in the same thing as I am. Now, as you see, once we did that once, uh, nothing happened. It just brought us back to set a, selecting a screen lock. So again, I'm going to select pin. And one, two, three, four. Application stopped working. Okay, whatever. We're going to go back once. And then we're going to repeat this process. So again, tap on the screen lock set mini. And again, pin, repeat it. Nothing. Again. Nothing. Again. Just keep on repeating it. Whoops. Till we get this page. There we go. From here, we can select skip. And that's basically it. We have now selected a pin as a whole screen lock. So from here, uh, once we have selected it, let's see what we need to do next. I am reading a guide as I go along, so that's why I'm kind of doing this a little bit slowly. Okay, so we're now going to start spamming the back button. There we go. Till we get to the beginning of the setup. And from here, we're going to select Get Started, Accept. Now we're just going to progress through the setup till we get again to the page where it's blocking us and telling us to verify. Hold on, not a pattern. So basically what happens when we force set a screen lock like we just basically did, it is a kind of glitchy way that we did it, but in any case it did set it. The phone is supposedly a smartphone, but it's stupid enough that it can't remember two different screen locks and it only can remember one. It doesn't matter if you selected pin pattern or password, it only can keep up one of those. So, because we have forcibly set a pin, it completely replaced the pattern that was previously a verification method, because technically we shouldn't be able to set a screen lock just yet. Uh, but by doing so, it just replaced the old one. So now, I'm gonna just put in one, two, three, four, enter, and off we go. The device is now unlocked. Now, it still shows this little lock icon right here, but I believe it will disappear on the next page. Yep, and it's gone. Now, uh, there's one last thing that I recommend doing uh, when we finish up the setup. 
and that is factory resetting your device. Now, even though you have access to your home screen right now and the device will seem like it's working just fine without any kind of problem. Again, one, two, three, four. Uh, without problem, there is a possibility that there is some kind of leftover from the previous, e, uh, previous Google account, which obviously you wouldn't want to have on your device. So once you have access to your home screen, which should be any moment now, What you'll want to do is navigate to your settings, scroll all the way down to system, reset options, erase all data, erase all data, one, two, three, four, erase all data once again. Now I'm not going to go over this on the video uh, through this process just because this is a last step and it really shows you nothing. Uh, once you press the button, it goes through a fully automatic factory reset of the device and brings you back to the setup screen. But at that point, you can set up your device however you want. So just log into your Google account if you want to, set up some screen locks and do all that typical uh, new phone setup stuff that you'd normally do. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.